Hello, I'm Lizelle Sambri, a young adult author, and today I'm talking all about my goals for 2021, my writing goals, my reading goals, and my YouTube goals. So usually <laughs> in the past, I have tried to do goal setting. I tried to do a monthly goal setting, which failed spectacularly right off the bat. I think I did two monthly goal setting videos, maybe even just one before I just gave up on it completely. But I think this will work better because it's a yearly goal. So goals for the whole year, I'm not, you know, getting into the nitty gritty. And so I can catch up in different parts of the year. I can kind of see how things are going. I can do like a mid-year check-in and then I can do an end of the year. And I think that's just enough commitment that I feel like I can succeed at these. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right into my goals. Let's go ahead and start with the writing goals. Obviously this is an author tube channel, so I'm sure you care the most about those. So I'm gonna talk about the projects I would like to get done this year in like different stages. So uh, first I need to finish the Blood Like Magic sequel. This is a contractually obligated goal. So this one will definitely get completed. Um, so the Blood Like Magic sequel in January. So next month I'm gonna start editing based on beta reader and my agent's feedback and I have a deadline in March to get it to my editor and so I need to get that done. That is something I must get done and that will get done. Um, I think because last year I finished all my blood like not last year this year oh my god this year <laughs> I finished my blood like magic edits around October or November so I imagine it will be the same in 2021 for the sequel edits so I've got to get that done. Next, these are all like the aspirational, I hope to get done things. But if you watch my last writing vlog, which I'll link over here, I was working on a horror called Bear Hunt. And I was doing like getting a synopsis ready and a pitch letter and like writing like a snippet of the first act. So I wrote basically the rough version of all of those and I would like to get that polished up. The reasoning being that I have one horror on submission right now and usually you try and sell in a two book deal and I would like to have something for a second book ready to like something to show for it. So that's what I'm working on. I would really like to polish that. I'm hoping to work on that basically right after I finish my first round of beta slash Asian um, edits for the Blood Like Magic sequel. I'd like to get going on that sooner rather than later. So that's what I'm hoping to work on next. And then also I would like to finish plotting my Dark Academia series. So uh, during NaNoWriMo, I like gave up on my NaNoWriMo project <laughs> and I basically shifted over to working on this Dark Academia and working on plotting it. Yeah, I am planning for it to be a trilogy. And so I would like to plan out all three books at once just because like, I don't know, trilogies for me are hard. I've never like, dying to write it well I have dying to write a trilogy but this is the first time I'm like really jumping into it and so I just want to make sure that I have everything planned out and I know everything that's going to happen and even if things like change in edits at least I have that stable base of like this is what I had planned for three books and so I'd like to plan out all of them I am going to apply for a Canada Arts Grant that I'm hoping to have them fund a trip to Kingston Ontario aka uh, Queen's University which is where I'm going to set it which is my alma mater and so that kind of depends on COVID and like if it's going to be safe to go and travel somewhere and stay for a month and so I'm kind of wishy-washy with that one, but I would like to finish plotting it, but I also kind of need to be able to go and do my research and stuff. So we'll see how that works out, but I would like to finish plotting it this year. Um, just plotting, not even any writing. I just want to get all the plotting done because it's a lot of plotting and world building that I have to finesse. So that's that. And my last goal, this is my like, push writing goal like this is the writing goal that is possibly too wild 
Oops. But um, I've been thinking about writing in other age categories. So for tr traditional publishing, if you don't know, um, there are things called non-compete clauses. So essentially what this means is if you release a book in one age category, that's like a full length novel work, often you will contractually not be able to release another book that year in the same age category. So this is the benefit of being able to write in other age categories, um, because then you can have multiple books come out in a year. And it's always been my goal to publish one book per year, but I've been thinking lately, especially if I continue with writing full time and it becomes less accident, less accidental and more purposeful that it would be good if I could release multiple books, maybe not every year, but like maybe every other year <laughs> have like two books out. So that's a goal that I'm working towards. Um, and so I've been exploring writing in other age categories. I did try to write a middle grade and I failed hardcore at that. I do not think I will ever become good at that, but it didn't go well. So I was trying to think of like an adult and I just didn't really have any adult ideas. So I was like, yeah, whatever. I'll just like keep writing in YA. But recently while on the drive, um, while on a drive, <laughs> I had an idea for an adult horror. And so I very ambitiously would like to have a full first draft, potentially like a very polished draft and get that done in 2021. My like huge ridiculous goal <laughs> is to get the young, this adult horror on submission in 2021, which is wild because I have to plot it. I have to write it. <laughs> I have to polish it. I have to polish it with my agent several times for us to then go on submission, including like beta reader and CP feedback. So this is like a wild goal, but I do feel like maybe it's possible. So this would require me to plot out this book quite early in the year and like to have a completed first draft I think at least you know pretty early in the year also meaning like a completed first draft I'm going to try and shoot for May and this is wild I know this is a wild goal <laughs> I know this is like too much but I do kind of want to do this. So I'm going to be working towards that as well. And that's my last, last writing goal. That is the least likely to happen one, but I'm going to try. Now for the reading goals. So this year, unexpectedly, I've read like 56 books for the year. Um, and the year isn't even over and I will probably read like a couple more books, like for, uh, Laura Wright's, um, writing craft book club I'll link below um the book club is happening in January so I kind of wanted to read the book late in December and so I will probably read more books so I'll probably end up with like a, maybe a 57 books read per year and I read most of those books like I would say like in the latter half of the year like from June on maybe once I was you know laid off <laughs> and I had more time, I did a lot more reading. And so I feel like I can do it. So I'm going to try and read 50 books in 2021. That's my goal to read 50 books. And I want at least half of those to be books that I already own. So books that I already own either on Kindle or on my physical shelf, I'm going to be rejigging my whole office. Um, soon and I'll have all of my books because we picked them up uh from Toronto so now I have all of all of the books that I own I am going to donate some but anyway um a bunch of those I haven't read <laughs> and I would like to read at least half of those so at least 25 of those books need to be books I already owned not books that I purchased in that year and I would also like to read all of my 2021 anticipated releases. So I think I actually, it might be like too much. I think I actually have 20 books <laughs> in 2021 that I am anticipating. It might even be more, in which case it might just end up being like, I wanna read half the books I already own and half of the specific 2021 debut books because that's my debut class. And I know a lot of those authors and a lot of their books I've been anticipating. And I really want to be able to read all the ones that I was really excited about. And so 
that is my plan and those are all of my reading goals <laughs> because I can't make specific any more specific reading goals than that because I'm such a mood reader I will probably never do it so those are my reading goals. Next are my YouTube goals. So my goals for YouTube in 2021 are very content based. I don't want to make goals like I want to have 5,000 subscribers because I can't control that. <laughs> And I feel like that's like a lot of pressure to be like, I want to have this many followers because you don't truly have any control over that. But I can have control over what sort of content that I put out there. So my first goal for YouTube is I would like to start a sort of like, I guess, bi-monthly series, like one, like every other month, maybe, or like maybe quarterly. I'd like to do sort of story time video. So there's a video I made. I'll link it over here called that time I wrote a problematic book where I talked all about my experience um, writing a book and later realizing that it was problematic and all the things around that and that experience and what I learned from that and I do have like a couple a few other experiences like that throughout my writing career and so I'd like to start a like quarterly maybe every other month series in which I like talk very specifically about an experience that I've had um, in the writing community or being an author and like what I learned from that and how I've evolved from those experiences because I think sometimes these are experiences that are kind of um, I don't want to say universal, but it's a thing that like other writers go through and it's not the sort of thing that I would necessarily make like an advice video about. Um, and so I would like to do that more. Um, and so that's the first goal for my YouTube. Another goal is I want to change the format of how I do author interviews and like panels. So I have an in conversation series. You can check out the playlist here where I talk to all different sorts of authors and writers and all sorts of people about different topics. And I've just found that it's been difficult to kind of pull people in to watch it but also get the retention so that they watch the full video and I was just kind of trying to think of a way that I can make that a little bit more dynamic and make that content a little bit more interesting for you the viewer um, because I do like doing those videos I really like being able to help promote other writers and authors and talk with somebody else so that it's not just my face all the time. Um, but I really kind of want to change the format so that it's like a little bit shorter, a little bit more snappy and like, you know, something people want to consume, um, but still is able to highlight that writer and their work and like their opinions and that sort of thing. And so I'm going to be filming I think two of these in January, which this with this new switched up format. And so I guess I'll see how that goes. But my goal was just to make the attempt and that's going to happen. So yay. And then my last author goal, not author goal, oh my god, YouTube goal <laughs> is that I would like to find more ways to bring more fresh and interesting content. I just feel like in the last little bit I've been in sort of like a weird content rut where I'm not quite sure what sort of videos I want to put out that are like, you know, fun for you and fun for me, but also something that are something that's interesting and provides insight into this whole traditional publishing world or like my experiences and that sort of thing. So I just kind of want to find ways to freshen up my content and to avoid getting into like a stale sort of like these are just videos I pump up to pump out videos. I would really like to find different ways to, yeah, to just make the content more fresh. And I don't know what that will be, but I really hope to do that in 2021. And that's it for my 2021 writer slash author reading and YouTube goals. What are your goals? Oh, I hated that I finger gunned. I kind of hated that I finger gunned. Anyway, what are, that's a little bit nicer. What are your goals for 2021? For anything, please share those in the comments. I would love to see what you are striving for in the new year. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.